Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back to For Strategy Gaming. I'm going to be casting a series for you today between Virus Nama and White Raw. As our Red Protoss player here in the 9 o'clock position and in the 6 o'clock we have Virus Nama as the Green Terran. We are starting things off here on Metalopolis and I have heard good things about this series and I am looking forward to casting it. I don't believe I've got anything uh, for you today in terms of like drink recipes. I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. I just kind of don't feel like it. We got some green tea though, sipping on some green tea in between the casting, so that's good. Normally I have chai tea, but uh, today I'm kind of feeling like some green tea. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's kind of, it's been kind of a dreary day, actually. Uh, yesterday was nice, but for the past week or so, it's been kind of overcast and raining and all this garbage, so... Hoping for some sunshine here. Now that I recently moved to the beach, it'd be really nice to have some sun, wouldn't it? Anyways, we can see right here, Nama starting things off, of course, with that 10 Depot. Hoopla hurrah. How exciting. Not really. Uh, we're going to be seeing a 12 or, yeah, we're going to be seeing a, no, thir never mind, 13 gate coming here from White Raw instead of a 12 gate. And that's, that's per perfectly fine. That's not, not ill-advised at all, I would have to say. White Raw is going to be moving out to the scout, and he's actually probably not going to be catching Nama until the very last thing. He's going to most likely be hitting up this base and then going straight to this one, I would assume. So he's not going to be seeing Nama for quite some time. Uh, Nama not too concerned for scouting yet. In fact, yeah, now just finally moving out with the scout. And let's take a look at where he's going. So he, too, is going to be a little late on scouting uh, White Raw's position. So both players, it's going to take them a little bit of time before they figure out where their opponent is. Uh, White Raw spotting the edge of his base here with his pylon. On letting him see Dross, but also get that little bit of warp in room right down there. And actually, this isn't going to be possible come next patch because this pylon radius is getting dropped by one. Uh, so yeah, he's going to have to put that pylon a little bit closer. That's going to make things like e it's going to make things like this easier to snipe off. Seven X core coming down right now for White Raw. Let's take a gander inside of Nama's base right now, just sitting on the one refinery. Uh, going to be seeing a Deepa going back here be behind that smoke screen, uh, starting things out with the Marine. And actually, yeah, because of this Marine, White Raw is not going to be able to get a scout of what Nama's doing. He's going to want to check things like gas and then what's coming after that barracks, but he's not going to be able to do so now that the Marine is there. As long as Nama's paying attention, yes, he is. So he's going to actually be able to shoo away that probe. Uh, if the probe tried to make it in there, he actually would have got cut off before he actually had the chance. Now, the thing here for Nama he does have that opportunity to walk inside of White Raw's base because this Zealot isn't enough of a threat for him. He actually has to wait until the Stalker is out before White Raw can actually effectively stop the Scout from moving inside of his base. And actually, uh, Nama just going to be keeping the SCV over here for the time being. He doesn't want to move in the Scout quite as of yet. We do have this Marine on the board and actually spotting where that probe is. White Raw needs to be careful. There we go, pulling away that probe just in time. Zealot coming on down, and that is actually going to force this Marine to pull back. He needs to be careful. But actually, taking a few shots here. Going to try to micro away. Uh, this is a problem though that zealot does have that opportunity to catch up and they're running side by side right now it is a race and guess who's going to win this who knows right now uh right on his tail very very dangerous situation there we go marine on the high ground helping his buddy out the zealot is just a bit too much taking one shot from the zealot one shot from the probe second shot from the zealot is he gonna lose this marine very close one more shot from the probe the marine is just barely gonna make it inside actually forced to pull down with some SCVs just to stop that zealot from killing the marine but no stalker on the low ground shooting the first marine second marine drops Stalker stealing the killing blow there for both of those. Anama is going to be forced to go back to mining. But, oh, man, that was a tremendous setback. At the same time, though, he does have a Reaper inside of the main base of White Rock. Going to start going to town on this. Does he have any kills so far? No, he doesn't. He, in fact, just got in the base. I hadn't actually seen him moving out. We can see White Rock is coming out with this Expo right now, dealing with this uh, Reaper harassment a little bit too much for him to handle. Uh, we do have that Stalker that did try to continue pushing up. It looks like he was, in fact, working on that Depot. Uh, but since that Marauder hit that board, that's going to force that Stalker back. But, man, what's the... Uh, we'll talk about some opening action, guys. I'd have to say pretty intense. Uh, we did see White Rock here actually actually opening up with that one gate expand and then dropping two more gateways down as well. Uh, probably just going to be sticking most likely on these three gates for quite a while. I'm uh, going to want to see another pylon going down sometime soon. And actually moving straight on in, SCV is going to be scouting those three gates. He knows at this point there is no Robotech. Moving back there, checking that pylon. Uh, there you have it. So that now, right, uh, now Nama is aware. There's no Robotech. He's just dealing with gateways. Nama himself also has his expo up. And sorry that I missed that expo initially, but that was just, uh, I didn't see that placement for either one of them, actually, because that was just too intense, the action that was going on, uh, focusing on that. We do have this bunker coming down, and Nama's going to be lifting off this orbital as soon as that finishes, bringing it on down. And actually, with these Marauders in this bunker, he should be pretty okay against any sort of push that White Rock could do. A uh, three-gate push, there is that Robotics now finally coming in, but a three-gate push isn't going to be that daunting. Uh, we can see that Stimpak just about finished right now. Nama also coming out with these double reactors, and actually, I wouldn't be all that surprised if Nama kind of 
have uh, basically mounted up a couple forces and tried to push out because knowing that he's well i mean there is robotech now but prior to this his knowledge was that there was no robo and just gateway tech in play and a strong uh, a strong barracks push with the marines and marauders is going to be very effective against any gateway tech another reactor so man oh man nama is going to be going incredibly marine heavy uh this expo is up because of that i don't expect to see two refineries it is possible that he might get one refinery here at the expo but since he's going so marine heavy i do not expect anything more than possibly one refinery here uh, depending on when he decides to get his factory and if he's going to get a starport for double medevac as well Kenzie Observer moving on out right now for White Raw. Are going to get a full scout of Nama's base. He, of course, is going to see these four racks up and running. And now taking a look over here for White Raw. He does have that robe up. Nothing coming out of that as of yet. He is, in fact, getting up to a fourth gateway right now. So now he's sitting on four gates. Um, probably going to want to start producing out of that sometime soon. But actually, what I'm going to guess is going to happen is now that he's spotting this marine-heavy composition that's coming out here for Nama, he's probably going to drop down that robo bay. And actually, scan going down, dropping down the Observer. Uh, but I would almost expect white raw to get that robotics bay because he knows that his uh his opponent here nama is going to be very very marine heavy we can't see that combat shield just about finished now the one major concern is if nama can push out before uh white raw has the tech to actually contend with it there are going to be a lot of units coming out very very fast and actually as a result uh, nama is going to have to make sure that he's constantly building depots you can see right now he's already supply blocked uh, that's the situation when you get up those quick expos especially with double re uh, reactors on three barracks you're going to be hitting that cap so often they're going to have to be consistently building depot after depot after depot just to be able to keep up with your production and here comes the push we've got one ghost coming out marauder couple more marines and the push is coming now that the ghost is in play he may very well have enough energy for one emp by the time that he actually pushes out with this uh, we can see white ross spreading out his forces i think he caught the ghost academy i'm not certain though actually no maybe he didn't let me take a look here he didn't catch the Ghost Academy. I'm almost assuming he did because there was a nice spread of White Raw's units, and you would do that, obviously, to avoid EMPs. But here comes the bay, as expected, seeing that Marine Heavy Army. Where is the bay? It's somewhere over here. I guess it doesn't really matter where it's being built. I'm retarded. There it is. But here comes an engagement right now, and I uh, needs to be very careful. All in here from Nama, pushing in with almost all of his SCVs. In fact, it may very well be all of his SCVs. This is a big, big push right now coming down from Nama. Nama deciding he wants to end this game early. I'm really surprised he's actually moving in with an all and You don't see this very, very often here at professional levels of play, but look at this. This is working incredibly well for Nama. Uh, so maybe this is a little testament as to why he should try this more often because he could very well right now take out White Raw. Now, the problem is that if he doesn't kill White Raw outright right now, then he is in a huge, huge uh he's at a huge huge disadvantage and all we really need white rod to do is get up a sentry and force with this ramp but no units do manage to make in trying to get in a couple more zealots gonna be moving down to try to engage with those probes well we do have stalkers coming in from the backside but stim going down trying to micro away staying away from those probes that little bit of extra damage but uh oh very close situation but never mind white rod just lost everything from that stim pack the dps on those marines is so very high and he's going to be pushing right into white raw's base and this is not looking good at all white raw lost his expo he lost all of his units he lost a ton of workers as well his production building is going to be dropping down and even though uh, nama has pretty much no mining going on it doesn't really matter because uh white raw's either, there's nothing he can do right now as you can see nama just barely managed to uh, eke it out here with just enough units even being low on hp and he did also have a few more reinforcements streaming in over here as well so there you go, guys. Uh, we saw a SCV uh, Heavy Marine Marauder all in push. We also had that one ghost in there for the EMP. Uh, and as you can see, that was very, very effective. Now, the thing to realize, uh, as effective as this is, that, you know, obviously, if Nama hadn't completely broke White Raw, then he would have lost the game. Uh, I guess in, in terms of what White Raw could have done, like I mentioned, he could have force field the ramp. But even with that said, he would have lost at Expo, and that would be a huge loss. And it would also be stuck in his base uh, with, with really no clear sign of pushing out anytime soon i almost wish that he had kind of retreated to his base uh gotten out that force fielded his opponent out of the base retreated back in got out a couple colossus and then pushed out against it i think had white raw possibly been able to manage that uh, then he actually might have been able to get away with it but i'm wondering actually when the bay got dropped or did it no it didn't even get dropped so yeah i think if white raw could have done that i think he probably would have had a better chance but uh either way you know when you're in the heat of the battle it doesn't always work out the way that would be kind of ideal so there you have it guys hopefully you enjoyed the game and remember guys if you like the content be sure to subscribe and as always keep watching and keep owning